Hello again, my friends. Wow, righteous. Today, we are going to talk about how sound is transported through electricity. As you can see, I brought a friend with me to demonstrate. No, Fabrice, dude, you actually have to say hi. Hi, I'm Fabrice. Now that we got that rocking intro out of the way, let's go over the sound. In physics, sound is a vibration that propagates through a transmission medium. This medium sends acoustic waves through the air. And when those waves reach out ears, we hear the sound. Fabrice, hit it! Musicians. Ah, there it is! See that right here? That beautiful sound is produced from the vibration of the strings on Fabrice's guitar. Her name is Brenda. Oh, really? Yeah. Whether you're plucking the strings of a guitar, playing the piano, or strumming a violin, you are producing a sound that is channeled into a resonated chamber. That chamber, or the body, as it's commonly called, is what multiplies the sound waves. But this is how acoustic instruments work. The guitar, I mean Brenda, that Fabrice has in hands, relies on electric transportation. Okay, Fabrice, hit the chorus. On every guitar, you have a neck with a fretboard, a body, and strings. Where acoustic guitars have a hollow body to amplify sound, an electric guitar has pickups. These are what capture the sound when Fabry strums. Pickups can be piezoelectric or magnetic. A piezoelectric pickup accumulates electric charges in response to applied stress. And a magnetic pickup consists of one or several permanent magnets wrapped with a coil of copper. In both cases, the sound is picked up and transported to an amplifier via cables. But these pickups, they function as transducers converting energy from one form into another. And transducers are not just for guitars. They are used for speakers and microphones as well. But sometimes, a speaker isn't enough. Because speakers require tens of volts, and by plucking these strings here, the pickups simply don't pack enough power. That's why we have amps. So turn it up. As Fabrice demonstrated, Amplification allows electric instruments to be much louder than their acoustic counterparts. What does an amp do? Hey! In basic terms, an amp creates a high power replica of the input signal and pushes that signal out of the speaker. Got you. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> now, a bit about the history of electric guitars. Electric guitars were invented back in 1932. When they hit the scene, they were mostly used by jazz players. They allowed artists to play and create a different sound, reach bigger audiences, and experiment musically. Nowadays, it's packed arenas and stadiums stacked with hundreds of huge and powerful amps. But here is the thing, at concerts and festivals, sound is always regulated for safety. 
After being repeatedly exposed to loud sound, you may begin to experience hearing loss. But anyway, let's get back to the fun stuff. Sound can be shaped or electrically altered to achieve different tonal qualities. That is what's so cool about the electric guitar. The experience, check this out. Those pedals you see at Fabris feet are processors that manipulate sound in a variety of different ways. They are analog processors which operate directly on an electric signal or digital ones which use mathematics to create a digital copy of the sound. Go ahead Fabrice, rock out! We have distortion, which increases gain to produce that hard fuzzy sound. Then there is delay, which occurs when sound bounces off a surface and builds echo. And last, we got the wawa, an effect that alters the tone and frequencies of the signal to create a distinct sound that mimics the human voice or more like a baby. Get it? Wawa? You can see why the guitar has become the leading symbol of modern music. With a simple guitar and a little electricity, who knows what you can achieve? Electric guitars have pickups which multiply the sound waves via electricity. These pickups function as transducers, converting energy from one form into another. The electric current is then sent to an amp, which creates a replica of the sound and pushes that signal out of a speaker. With science, sound can be shaped or electrically altered to achieve different tonal qualities. Ah, science and music. Who said they don't mix? Don't forget to subscribe below, drop us a comment and give us a like. Until next time, rock on!